It is okay to be upset. I mean, he was your uncle. You wouldn't have given a stuff if it were me. I mean, he's just a user. Look, you go up and have a shower. I'll talk to him. I was supposed to see Chloe later, but I'll cancel. I don't want you being on your own today. No, it's OK. I'll come. But don't mention about Jamie. <laughs> Shouldn't even know him. Look, I don't really think that's a good idea. I can't sit around in here all day. I need something to set my mind off it. Please, Sarah. My mum used to hang out here when she was a teenager. Oh, I found that video Gemma was telling you about. Oh, really? Can I have a look? Yeah. Is that Gem? On the posh horse? Yeah. His name was Bloom. She did dress as she won stacks of rosettes and cups. Skills. Is that your dad with the champagne? Yeah. He spent a fortune on that horse. He loved that Gem was like him, you know, really competitive, always had to win. He could be good fun sometimes too, but he changed a little bit after she was killed. What does he do for a job? Various things, you know. He owns his own company, but he's had to go away now for quite a while. Business, you know. Oh, so a bit like my mum then. You must be lonely if he's away. Are you all alone at home, except your mum? No, there's the staff. I hang up with them quite a lot. Please don't feel sorry for me. The housekeeper is lovely, honestly. She makes me laugh so much, and we talk about Gemma all the time, cos... Well, my dad still can't. Well, he is grieving, you know. It must take time. It's been years. I miss her too, but I can't even mention her name in front of him. I hate it. So, will your dad be able to come home on weekends or anything? It's not that easy. Oh, is he somewhere quite far away, then? Gemma's pretty. No, that's not helping. Look, why don't you just go home? No, stay. I, I like talking about her. Did she have a boyfriend? No. She liked girls. Oh, right. You never said? She only just come out to me. She fell out with one of her best friends about it right before she died. Because she liked girls? No, because... She liked her friend, but Rosie was just in her boys. Oh, They were. Sorry if he's an idiot. <laughs> no, it was awkward. Gemma cried about it for days, so I invited Rosie around. Gemma went mad at first, but then we sat and we talked about it, and it was all good between them. Lisa sorted it before she died. And it's nice that she could come out to you. And to her mate, too. I hadn't thought about it like that. I mean, she could have died without ever speaking the truth. None of us would have known who she really was. But afterwards, she said she felt really heard and free. Yeah. It's proper cool what you did. Thanks, Tyler. You made me feel lots better. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I don't want to talk about Jamie. Right, come on then, what have you two been up to? Nothing. We just hung out with a mate. All oh, right, what mate was that? You don't know him. Oh, wait, this better not be one of Danny's old crew. If you must know, it was Chloe. My new girlfriend. What? Helen, you've got a new girlfriend? Well, when am I going to meet her? Never. Don't make me stalk you. You know how much I hate undercover surveillance, sitting in a cheap car, eating messy kebabs, spilling coffee when I have to drive off at high speed. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Thank you very much for looking after me, okay? And you know where to find me if you need me. <sighs> what on earth did you say that for? I don't know. <sighs> it got off our backs. But I'll have to come with you now. 
When you see Chloe, it's a cover. Oh my God, do you fancy her? No wonder you're creeping around her. If you want me to keep your secret, then no arguing. Oh, what, so you're blackmailing me? You call it what you like. I'm coming with you.